Big day today, should get the new motor in. Got to finish stripping down this, get the remaining power electronics, get the uh, inverter, get the charger out, get the mounting bracket out, get the old motor and old adapter plate out, and then start putting the new stuff back in. Put the last coats of paint on the adapter plate and the other bits of steel that fit it all. And we probably won't get much beyond the motor in today, but we will at least get everything out and get the motor back in. Oh yeah, by the way, if you are enjoying this stuff, please do hit the like button now and subscribe. It makes a massive difference. Cheers. First of our side-by-side -side comparisons. Now, I know that the old bracket here, the old mounting frame here, was also the motor mount. But you can see how much less substantial this mounting bracket is. Uh, and it, in some ways, does more stuff because it holds the uh, power steering pump and the brake booster pump albeit does some less as well because this one held the charger and the inverter but already that should be a big or at least a fairly substantial weight saving and just wait till you see the comparison of the adapter plates side-by-side -side comparison again old motor in white new motor in silver and you can just see by the size difference that there's a lot more copper in this one I still suspect that at some point I'll go for an, I'll do another upgrade go for a leaf unit or something bigger but this should provide a meaningful upgrade for now so you can now get the old adapter plate out and you can see, I mean, eight mil steel with no trimming on it. It's enormous. So that'll save some weight. Vacuum pump currently mounted on there. New one to go in. And um, so let's get that undone, get that out. And then we can do a bit of a tidy up. There we go, adapter plate out. Ready for the new stuff to go in. Still need to get rid of the power steering pump from its old location. Move the wiring. Um, and tidy up a bit. Obviously the old wiring loom I'll be redoing. It's all a bit of a mess. Although actually general condition of the engine bay is kind of better than I remember. Um, don't be me wrong, I'd like it to be neater, but it's really not bad. 
So I'm going to grind these old um, radiator brackets off and the reinforcement plates. I put them behind them for the battery box. Um, grind these down um, so that we can mount the motor mount plates. Although I won't put them on until um, until the motor's in, so we get exactly the right location. Same with the battery box plates. Those will go in once we've got the battery box test fitted. But what we can do is get the adapter plate in now, once I've had some lunch. Oof. that was hard work in retrospect maybe it would have been easier to pull the gearbox out but those nuts and bolts on the guiba are a pain in the bum i didn't really want to have to replace them um, so through a combination of trolley jack and engine crane managed to get it all lined up and slotted on and the gearbox bolts in and the two remaining bolts for the motor in so that is now mounted at the back it's got it mounted at the front now so clean up these two bits temporarily drop in the uh, bottom mounts for the motor get the motor mount bolted onto here and get it all lined up As the saying goes, bugger. <laughs> this is where we're at. The motor is sitting too far forward. I think not very much. If you look straight down there, you can see that it has to go back two centimeters maybe maybe a fraction more, which is within the scope, I think, of the sliding part of the um, prop shaft and the adjustability in the gearbox mount. But I can't move the bloody thing. Uh, it's too heavy. Probably need to get the engine crane back on it. Uh, and I'm topping out in the gearbox tunnel, trying to lift it. I may be fouling on the X frame underneath, which may need to come off. So, I'm running out of time. I'm gonna have a quick go at getting the engine crane on and just shunting it back a little bit and see if that works. That didn't work. Um, Still can't get the mount onto the motor. 
can't get the gearbox and motor to move. It's too heavy for me to do on my own. Even with a jack and the engine crane on it, all I've managed to do is tear one of the gearbox rubbers. So I'm going to have to get some new mounting rubbers for the gearbox and get that ordered tonight so that I can have another go. I've got a couple of hours more this week to work on this, but I really thought I'd really thought I'd get the motor in today. And I'm a bit gutted that I haven't. Um, nonetheless, some good progress. Not far off getting it done. A bit of luck this week, albeit won't get as far as I'd like because it should have been starting on mounting everything else and uh, wiring up uh, on this week. So frustrating, but I'll get there. Um, if you like this stuff, please do like and subscribe and uh, share it around. Leave us a comment. <laughs> share my pain. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.